Indianapolis is hosting one of the largest conventions of the year this week, and the convention center is already nearly filled to capacity. That's why the city wants to expand the convention center and transform the plaza next to it as well. Developers have big plans for Pan Am Plaza, as you see behind me. And as Fox 59's Russ McQuaid reports, the city is about to decide whether to inject a lot more funding into these plans. Every December for the last 10 years, the annual performance racing industry returned to Indianapolis, and this year it's back with 50,000 participants and an estimated $70 million in economic impact. Indianapolis is a great host for PRI. The convention center is great. The trade show has more than 1,000 exhibitors, and they'll be taking up every square foot of space inside the convention center, including Lucas Oil Stadium, and planners are predicting they'll need more space in the years to come. We're growing every year. We're actually up over 10% from an exhibitor standpoint. So we're starting to push the limits of what we can do here in the convention center and Lucas Oil Stadium. Between them, Kite Realty Group and the city will spend $550 million to finance two giant hotels and a major expansion of the current convention center across Capitol Avenue onto Pan Am Plaza. But in the two years since the project was approved, inflation has driven up the cost of materials and labor, while interest rates have climbed from 5 to 8 percent, sending the city back to its bank account to find another $25 million to add to the $155 million it's already agreed to spend on construction bonds. The expansion will add another 143,000 square feet to the convention center, and experts who keep tabs on the Indianapolis convention and visitors industry say even at a higher than anticipated cost, the added investment will be worth it in the chase for national conference money as other cities continue to build new football stadiums and hotels and meeting sites. It's the events like uh, FFA, where they were almost at near record breaking attendance figures. They're using all the space. Currently, PRI, performance racing industry, using currently all the space. So trying to figure out how we continue to grow with those key groups. Assuming the Metropolitan Development Commission approves the extra money tomorrow, it's still another two years before they'll be opening up the expanded convention center downtown. At the Pan Am Plaza, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.